Today's game is brought to you in part by the Real Estate Market Center, located on North Main Street in East Long Meadow. Whether you are thinking of buying or selling a home, please consider calling Michael Roby at the Real Estate Market Center. You can reach him at 413-575-7236. Welcome to another telecast of Elcat Sports for this tilt between the Spartans of East Long Meadow and the Brownies of Agawam. This is a makeup game from a couple weeks ago that was snowed out. Agawam coming in after over a victory over Westfield, 3 to 1 with an open netter. And last game the Spartans beat South Hadley 5 2. I'm here with Alex Bazin. This is Dr. Bill Bazin, your announcer. Here on rink two. Occupying rink one tonight is Long Meadow playing West Springfield. Waski, Forrest, and Martin on the top line for the Spartans. Agawam fires it in. Oh, off the crossbar. It goes up. Snuck a quick one on Gasparini. Oh, surprise in their chance early. Agawam defenseman is firing one in from the red line. I don't think Gasparini really expected that one right off the crossbar. Just trying to get out of the way. Looks like the Phoenix Coyotes last week. Byron went in from the far blue line at the start of the period. Zach Martin tries it to himself, but broken up by Curran. Curran, big defenseman for Aguam, snaps it on. Kick saved by Gaspo. Goes into the corner. Curran playing deep. Plays it across into the corner. Tito Grande pulls it around the corner. Zach Martin with the hit. Comes back to the point. Curran with a shot. Right on chest save. Three shots so far for Aguam. Spartans having trouble getting out of their own end. Played in by Agawam. And Martin works it out. Oh, uh, just out of reach. Waski tries to pick it up. Can't. A little bump there by Forrest. And Agawam works it back as Spartans go for a quick line change. Through center ice goes the captain for Agawam. Gets a trip, but no call. Goes around the corner. Agawam doing a nice job cycling. Good check there by looks like Leahy. And we're going to have our second whistle tonight. Faceoff's going to be outside the zone. Spartans top line there coming out of the gate. Having a tough time controlling the puck coming into the neutral zone. Able to break the puck out but couldn't get it deep. Agawam will take it right back in the zone and maintain their pressure. What do we got? Corbin. Corbin, Saracino. And Trace. Right out front. Oh, broken up by Agawam. Second line for Agawam. Tries to dangle. Throws it in deep. Back together is the D. The window back there with Bates. Keeps it on his stick. Nice job there. Gets hit. One, two, three. Five brownies out there. Looks like too many men on the ice, but they're able to clear. Nice pass up the left boards. Agawam dumps it in all the way around. Goes over to Trace. Trace tries to get it out of the zone, gets broken up. And we're going to have a penalty for tripping. Looks like Saraceno taking the puck right through the slot in his own defensive zone. Got tripped up, and Spartan's going to go in the first power play of the game with 12.54 left in the period. So Spartans will go with Waski at the point. Waski and Trace at the point. Let's say five forwards out there for the Spartans right now. Kept in at the point. Nice little move there. Oh, tries to play it over, does. Zach Martin. Back to the point. Quick shot and tipped. Oh, just goes left. Comes right out with it. Back to the point. Waski with a shot. Goes wide. Picked up and we're going to have both players are going to go. Looked like Nick Corbin tied up in front with one of the Aguan players. He's going to get called, I think, as well as the Aguan player. Looked like the Revis point at both of them. 
Aguan players here is hurt. Didn't really see what happened in front there. Like he might have twisted his knee as he went down. Corbin's going to go. Is there a trainer in the building? Aguan player here not getting up off the ice. I believe that he's going to go for a penalty as well. I'm sure he won't be the one serving it after this. They did call both of them. Maybe they negate the penalty. I don't think they can really negate it after he, he already call called it. it. He definitely called it. Summer will have to serve that one if not him. By the looks of it now, it looks like he's not really going to. Agawam with three shots, none for the Spartans. The Spartans might have one shot on the power play. They took a few shots. I think all of them got tipped wide. Still a minute left on the power play. Or actually, it's going to be a, a four on four for a minute. Not if they got both of them. Should still be a five on four. Somebody's in the box, so it will be a continued power play for the Spartans. So. Aguan player up, there's no penalties put up on the board. Which leads me to believe it's going to be a five on four still for another minute. See if someone serves. Hey buddy, keep up. Huh? Yeah, you know. I gotta watch you all the time. So Agawam player gets helped off the ice. Spartans will go a minute, one second on the power play. 12-24 left, first period. Spartans being outshot three to one. Some close moments early in the game on that shot from the outside the zone, hit the crossbar. Looks like they are calling both penalties. Nobody in the box to serve. Though, since they are matching, they would come out on a whistle anyway. Sure. And now we're going to take the draw. Yeah, they're going to put somebody in the box. Someone's getting on the score sheet. Forrest, Mores. Puck kept in at the point. Over the red point shot. Fanned on it, but Spartans control in the corner. Cycle over. Good play by the Spartans. Still digging. Still with it. Plays it back to the high slot. Martin shot. Oh, cross check right in front. Wow. Oski plays it to himself, otherwise it would have been a hand pass. Here comes Zach Martin. Zach with a nice move through the middle. He's got some skating. Martin, the freshman, plays it back to Waski. Waski with a wrister, gets blocked in front. Over to Martin. Martin gets hit from behind. We're going to have another penalty on Agawam. And why did they blow it up? Martin gets absolutely drilled from behind. Probably going to be a boarding penalty and a quick whistle here. We'll have to see if we can figure that one out. Not sure why they blew the whistle there. Spartans clearly still in possession of the puck. Unless he thought he was hurt. But it will be a boarding penalty. Double minor. It's like a double minor for boarding. Let's go, Agawam! So 11.29 left, it'll be a five on three for a minute, or for, or for six seconds. Looks like Agawam's calling a timeout. Early timeout for Agawam. I think they call, I thought they called a double minor. I saw him put four fingers up in the air. It was clearly a boarding. They got two minutes up on the board, so Agawam don't know the reason behind that is every penalty here is a minute and a half, or three for a double minor. And now they got four minutes and five seconds up for the penalty. 405, that's a new one. All right, so East Long Meadow with a six second five on three. 
And then it's going to be a four-minute power play for the Spartans. Spartans have to be careful. The guy coming out of the box here in six seconds. There he comes. And just for that. Agawam ices it, and out comes penalty killer. Puck played over. Martin at the Waski, the lefty. Waski goes to the top of the umbrella. He's got some skating room. Goes right to the cage. Oh, shot just goes wide. And the puck gets tipped out of the zone. Back together. Zach Martin and Griffin Trace. Martin plays it up to Waski. Nice move there. Puck goes in, shot tipped into the corner, goes up to the glass. Shot tipped wide. Into the corner comes Agawam's big gun. Curran, the big shooter. The wrister, heavy shot. This goes over the cage. And there's gonna be a whistle inside. Actually, it'll be outside the zone. Puck went off the glass at the back of the cage, so it'll be outside the zone. 2.56 left in the power play. Spartans taking plenty of shots this power play, but none of them seem to find, find the net. Aguam getting bodies in front of every shot taken by the Spartans. Face off controlled by the Brownies who dump it in. Back to get it is Jimmy Bates. Bates shakes the defender. Four checker. Puck goes over to Bates. In his own, Saracino looking for some help. Gives it away. Here comes Agawam on a break, partial breakaway. Shot goes wide. Back to the right corner. Past Pastorini for Agawam, former Cathedral player. Plays it over to the point, taken by the Spartans. Spartans on their high penalty kill or power plays, trying to get it up. Bates moves it over to Saracino. He's got some open ice. Dumps it in, but not deep. And it comes right out to center ice. Spartans going for a change. A minute 54 left in the power play. Heavy hit there by Griffin Trace. Or actually, Xavier Fracini. Fracini tips it through center. Agawam dumps it out through the middle. It's taken by Bates. Bates. Dumps it in deep, gets it to the corner. And the Spartans just dump it out, or Agawam dumps it out. A minute 28 left, 8.54 left, no score. Shots are three to one in favor of Agawam. Right side, pulls up. Tries to get it to Corbin, over to one side. Oh, good shot, tip, just goes wide. Agawam goal is on his knees. Got to get some shots on this kid. Waski can't keep it in the left point. So 57 left. Shot there. Waski gets it back. Waski skating, making some moves. A lot of traffic in front. Waski's still with it, avoiding the forecheck. Shot tipped, goes to the corner. Pacini dumps it in deep. And Curran bangs it out. 22 left on the power play. Trace able to shake his man loose. Puck paid through center, but missed. A little behind the man. And Agalump dumping it in. Six seconds left, that should do it. Even strength, seven minutes left. Rister goes wide. Nice low shot. Here comes Agawam back. Two on two. Brownies with a shot, goes right around. Able to keep it in is Agawam. Agawam with a shot and it's gloved by Gaspo. Shot was a foot wide. Spartans really in that power play through the whole second half, unable to really set up and develop a power play. 
to really c continue the pressure on on Agua. We had a few shots, but still every single one get blocked in front. Agua, I'm not afraid to put bodies in front of shots. Yeah, clogging up the middle, Spartans couldn't get anything going. Trace dumps it in, it's no, no icing. Pacini. Over to Lamo. Lamo looking for some room. Plays it back behind the cage and it's broken up by Curran. Curran flicks it out. Nice hit there by Eastline Meadow. That was Buendo. Buendo on a nice play, taking the body, coming back to get the puck. Agawam cycles it deep. Saracino breaks it up. Still battling in the corner. Spartans just dump it out, can't. Agawam keeps it in. Shot blocked in front by East Long Meadow. Buck goes heavy to the corner. Nice lead man, nice pass. Alamo able to pump it in. Takes the hit and gets off the ice. Back to get it for Agawam is current. Zach Martin with the hit. Martin throwing his weight around. Here comes Agawan. Three on two. Plays it back. Goes deep. Dumps it back into the corner. Right out front. Rister kicks a by the defenseman. And East Long Meadow able to clear the zone. Anthony Forrest with a block in front. And Keeping the puck alive, Gasparini. Martin with a hit along the wall. Grande in there. Agawam leading the, the game in hits. Stayed in. Another block by East Long Meadow. Doing some of their own tending in front of their goaltender, Gasparini. Shot, heavy shot, saved Gaspo. Mike Leahy battling in the corner with Jimmy Bates. Puck comes around, back behind the cage. I go on cycling, but Spartans still can't get it out of the zone. Good aggressive play there. That's, that should be offsides. Here comes Bates. Bates with a wrister in. Two men on the puck for the Spartans. Right out to the front. Oh, stop. Another shot blocked by Agawam. Wow. Buendo tried to play it around, but it was broken up by Agawam and dumped in by Corbin. Body slamming in the corner. Buendo able to keep it in. Nice job with his feet. From playing FIFA soccer. A little sloppy there by Aguam. It's tough to tell these colors apart, orange and red. That's why there's a lot of Aaron passes. Spartans did a decent job keeping the puck in deep, got a good four check going, but really couldn't develop any attack on it. Like no shots on goal, but ended up with the puck coming back past the red line, dumping it down for an icing. 3.30 left in the first period. Face off controlled by the Spartans. Can't get it out. Over to Aguam. Aguam with a hard wrister, right? Good save there by Gasparini. Saracino, Puccini. And in the corner, Trace playing deep. Puck kept in it. Here comes the Spartans back three on two, two on two. Back out front. Oh, goes to the cage. Covered up by Aguam. A lot more they were looking for the backhand sauce across the crease, but it got tipped in front and went on net. Almost got tipped in from the back door. Crafty little play there by Alamo and, and Saracino. <laughs> the 
It's off control by the Spartans, but broken up by Agalam, who comes back, dumps it in. It could go for Isaac. No, Agalam able to catch up. Shot, oh! Puck goes wide, just wide. And it's Trango with a nice save on the bench. I think that puck might have actually gotten five hole on Gaspa, but still just slipped through wide. Yeah. A little break for the Spartans. Gasparini misses it, just goes wide. At least looked that way from this angle. Martin, Mosky, and Forrest out there for the Spartans. Faceoff kept in at the right point, wrists it in. Agawam with some good pressure behind the cage, trying to cycle. Low, no score so far, 2.38 left first period. There's an interference. Shot off the, off the post. Now the rebound, save Gasparini, he covers up. Oh, a little extracurricular activity in front of the net. We'll Gasparini there got lucky, Post hit his best friend into the post, but it went right back to the Agawam player. He was able to get over, make the save on the second attempt. Spectacular save coming across on that one. Looks like the Spartans are gonna go. Obviously the refs missed that interference, but Corbin's gonna go, or, or uh, Peter Trace. We got an Agawam player as well. Okay. So probably going to be five on five here still with 2.25 left in the period. It's the same player, second penalty of the night for Agawam for that number 15. So they'll be out for the next minute and a half. We'll play five on five. Agawam penalty, number 15, John Tawal, and a half, roughly. Spartan penalty at number four. Peter Trace, Spartans battle along the wall, but can't get it out. Martin tries to get on a stick with a little bump. Nice play by Bates, who ices it. And you can't ice it when it's five on five, dude. I must have thought he was shorthanded there a little bit. Just flicking it down the ice, almost on net, but just wide. Take the, leave the pressure, that works fine too. So five on five play continues with 2.05 left. First period. Back to the point. Goes D to D, quick wrister just gets tipped wide. Agawam cycles it back door. Playing without his stick is Mike Leahy. Pretty heavy battle there by Trace. Oh, nice glove save. Quick yeah. wrist shot there through traffic from the Aguam defenseman. Tough, must be tougher Gasper to see. He's going right through about six players, but he's able to spot it and make the glove save. Anthony Forrest uses his body well to slow the man down, but he's still able to get the shot off. Great save by Gaspo to keep it 0-0. Can't get it out. There we go. Morris loses it, but Bates with a nice play. Bates tries to skate it out. Goes over to Buendo, he gets it up ahead and dumped in by the Spartans, but not deep. Agawam goes D to D, corner to corner. And line pass goes right to the Agawam player. Heavy, nice back check, back pressure there by Trace. Back come the Spartans. Trace tries to play it ahead, gets broken up. Back comes Agawam. Agawam offsides, onsides, pulls the puck back out with 47 left. Nice play right ahead to Agawam. Two on two. Wrist it in. Gaspo hugovers up. Spartans are continuously breaking down the zone, but just unable to get it deep and develop any pressure. Really haven't seen any sustained attack from the Spartans so far this game through almost the full first period. Gasparini making some big saves early in this game. Puck chipped ahead. Another great save by Gaspo. Wrist it in, right pad save. Two quick ones. 
Corbin in the corner. And Leahy. Waski tries to get it out. Agawam with some good back pressure, able to dump it back in. Forrest, it's broken up. Shotko hits the side of the net. And Martin handcuffed on the pass shot. Little flutter shot. And it's gonna cover up with a minute or one second left in the period. Spartans chair is trying to get out of the zone to kill the rest of the period, but unable to get it out. So Agawam puts it on net with 1.3 left in the period. They're probably just gonna try to bang it onto the net. Agawam getting their shooters out there with a the second left. And that should do it for the period. The Spartans there, despite having about six minutes of power play, I really wish they could have pulled it home there, but I'm sure they're happy to get out of that first period without letting up a goal, considering the sustained pressure that Agawam had throughout the period. So Agawam with the definitely shots on goal. Nine to five. Looking for the latest news in East Long Meadow? Tune into LCAT News for updates on what's happening inside town government. Up to the minute information on local events and breaking news. Check out LCAT01028 on YouTube.com or tune in each night at 7 p.m. on channel 191. LCAT News update for all the news you need to know. If you're a local business owner, you should consider supporting LCAT's coverage of sports here in East Long Meadow by becoming an underwriter of our very popular sports programming. Choose from three month packages up to a full year and let our viewers know that you support our teams and LCAT's commitment to share their achievements within the East Long Meadow community. To learn more about how you can become an underwriter with surprisingly affordable introductory packages, contact sports director Jamie Rook at 413 525-4220. Second period action underway. Bates flips it in and right into the Spartan bench. They'll have a whistle back at center ice. I think he's trying to take one of his own player's head off there. Right in. Morris will take the draw again. And wins it. Bates plays it up and taken by Agawam who dumps it ahead. Bates skates ahead with it. And he flips it in. No ice. Stick by the goaltender. Good forecheck for the Spartans. Battle on the walls, Waski and Forrest. Agawam throws it in the zone to say no icing. Agawam takes it and cycles it back. Back together is Leahy. And cycled over it. Oh, heavy hit. Heavy hit on Forrest. It's going to be a tag up, no offsides. Good play getting it out of the zone. Waski avoids the hit. Agawam takes it in, but Waski breaks it up. And we're gonna get a, Agawam's gonna go for a, I didn't see it, what did he do? Interference, he pretty much just threw Buendo's stick out of his hand. He got 15 again? 17 no. here. It's blatant interference on that one. Spartans go back to the power play, mid into the second period. Got Trace and Waski on the points. Coming in to take the draws. Forrest with Martin and Corbin. Goes right to the cage. Oh, nice save. Puck's puck loose. Kept in by Waski. Plays it over. Gotta settle that puck. Forrest tries to get it across. And he scores! Is that a goal? I think he's pointing to the circle. Okay. But good opportunity there for the Spartans, taking it right to the cage twice. Almost putting it home five hole, but the Spartans. 
Aglam goal, you have to make the save. Good hustle there by Forrest. Forrest plays his man, goes to Corbin, plays it back to the point. Woski over to Martin. Martin in that shooting position. Martin's playing around the outside, comes out to the middle, shot, save. And battle in front, still loose. Oh, Roski. Zach Martin unable to bang it home. Agawam can't get it out. Nice play there. Who's got it? There'll be another penalty. Shot puck loose, tipped wide. Agawam's gonna go, we gotta let him touch the puck. So we're gonna have a five on three. How many chances the Spartans need here? It looked like they had about three open nets, just can't find the back of the net there. They'll go back in the five on three for 38 seconds. Martins with plenty of, plenty of opportunities in this game, 0-0. Zero, zero. We'll have a five on three, 38 seconds. And Anthony Forrest out there showing he's not afraid to be tough and get hit. We're getting his head taken off last shift, still playing those dirty areas out there. Face off control by the Spartans. Woski tees it up, save, goes to the corner. Martin plays it right across. Can't handle the pass. Makes a nice little move back to the top. Woski with a shot right on, covered up. Woski the nice low hard shot, looking for a tip in front. Forrest is there, but unable to get a stick on it. And Aguam goalie able to track it down and cover it up. 19 seconds left in the first penalty. Forrest battles on the draw, goes to the corner, right up the wall, kept in. Good play there. Plays it over to Martin. Martin gets broken up. Agawam tries to get out of the zone, kept in. Good play there by Trace. Oh, Agawam going for the home run pass as it comes out of the box. Waski does a nice job breaking it up. Martin can't fire it in. And Agawam able to clear that puck down with 40 seconds left. Trace can't get it up the wall. Leaves him alone in front. And they score on a giveaway in their own end. On a shorthanded goal for Agawam. The bad giveaway on the boards there by Griffin Trace. Agawam player able to pick it up and give it right to his men. He's waiting out in front for it and makes a move from Gasparini and puts it home. one nothing Agawam on a short-handed goal. Gasparini got hung out to dry there and able to, Agawam able to score five holes. Still 29 seconds left in the power play. Comes Agawam with a big shot, goes wide. Comes up to Ficini. Ficini plays it ahead to Saracino. Saracino, tough angle shot. Good release there by Alamo. And here comes Agawam, even strength now. Nice, nice poke check there by Bates. And he plays it all the way up. They're going to be icing unless Saracino can touch it. He gets there ahead of time. They wave it off. The refs aren't communicating. Looks like it should have been icing, but Spartan's able to keep that puck in the zone. Nice pass ahead by Peter Trace. Here comes Agalon. Cuts in. Shot. Save. Goes to the glass. Bates trying to kick the puck ahead. Nobody in front. Oh, Ficini able to cover the front of that cage. Kern able to dump it in for Agawam. And Ficini gets hit against the boards as the puck comes out. Agawam dumps it in deep. Back to get it, Trace. Trace plays it to the middle. Agawam able to pick that puck up coming through the slot. Right out front, back to the point, wrist it in. Stared to the corner. That's 
Morris. Nobody home for East Long Meadow. Chase, Chase having a little battle for himself. Agawam steers it to the corner. Heavy hit by East Long Meadow comes around the boards. Spartans can't get the puck out of the zone. Agawam with a wrister. Heavy shot. This goes wide. Took a funny hop off the glass. Here comes the Spartans. Number 11, Mike Leahy able to get that puck in the zone. Getting a little physical here. Nice move there. Shot save, Agawam. Spartans just kind of standing around, not, not hustling. Skate with it. Corbin just dumps it in. Slung metal with a full change. Good pressure by the Spartans. Agawam has to start over. Looks like a little bit of a hook there, but Good hustle by Agawam to come back and get it. And it comes out to center ice. Bates tips it ahead, or Buendo. Agawam with some skating. Goes right around the defender. Right out front. Block save, Gaspo. And he covers up. Wow, what a save by Ryan Gasparini. Puck bouncing around dangerously in front there. No one really able to pick it up or clear it to the corner. Agawam got a stick on it, but Gaspo will make the cover up. Spartan's gonna pick up the intensity here in the second period. Standing around watching. <laughs> on the draw, Hagawam controls it. Shot fanned on from the point. They, they carry that puck. Bates is gonna go for a trip. Bates looked like he's going to make a play on the puck there in the corner. Might have got caught, got a stick caught up in the player. He's going to go for a trip with 8.22 left in the second period. Spartans going to be shorthanded for the first time of the night. Five men out there. Spartans on the first penalty kill. Comes up to the top. Shot score. Kind of a shot that was fanned on from the point by Agalama. Must have got tipped on the way through. Looks like Gasper and he saw it, but just the redir redirection put it five hole on him. So Agawam on the power play go up 2-0 here in the second period. So Agawam with a shorthanded goal and a power play goal. Here you go, Chris. And Bates has to stay in the box for the whole minute and a half. It's played by Saraceno, pumped it in. And it's broken up. Back come the Brownies, two on two. Tito Grande right up front. Good hit there in the, in the middle by Corbin or uh, Peter Trace. Puck stays in the zone. Here come the Spartans. Puccini can't hang on. Dumped ahead by Alamo and back to get it. Number four, Peter Trace. Trace tries to sauce it out, can't get it out of his zone. Kicked out by East Long Meadow, but not out of the zone. Kept in by Agawam, who comes in. Nice little pass, two on one, yeah! and he scores. Good play by Agawam. He had his head up and fed his man. Nice pass over. Sparringer has got to get the puck out of the zone. There are two, three opportunities to clear the zone. But unable to get it out, and Aguam takes advantage of it. Makes a few passes in the off on the zone and puts it on another move right around Gasparini. He'll go up 3 0 here with three quick ones here to start the second period. Pretty play there. Nice little two on one. They set up down low and go up 3 0. 
Seven, seven minutes left, second period. Martin with a heavy hit. Buck goes behind the cage. Martin with a good forecheck. Back comes Agawam. Looks like Curran. Goes right around. Oh, nice tip in front. Here come the Spartans back, two on one. Good hard shot by Zach Martin, rebound! Let's stand in the corner. Good play by Zach Martin, go right to the cage. Agawam able to come back, two on one. Shot, oh, beautiful save, he had that whole side pick. Gasparini able to get his blocker on it. Spartans come back three on one. Rister broken up by, by Agawam. And they come back the other way. Back and forth hockey here at the Barry Division. Nice play there at the window to break it up. Trace avoids the heavy hit. Here comes three on one. Shot score! Nick Corbin with a ripper. Yeah, three on one, but he took the shot and scored. Back and forth hockey in this game. Spartans get a chance, Aguam gets a chance. Spartans, Aguam, and finally, Nick Corbin coming down in the three on one, looking for a pass, but it was taken away. He just went far side, top corner over the glove. Three to one here, 5.59 left in the second period. Spartans still in this nice, nice quick release by Corbin. I don't know how that was unassisted, but Spartans with some life. Brownies dump it in on a stretch pass. And kept in by Agawam. Two men in front. Shot goes right across. Agawam able to keep that puck in the zone. Nice hard shot. Trace trying to get it out of the zone, gets broken up. Back to Griffin Trace. Oh, broken up by Agawam at the at this point. Puck goes all the way around. Corbin able to get that puck out of the zone. Agawam re regroups. A bit of a buddy pass. Agawam winds it up with five minutes left in the second period. Makes a move and covering up is Ryan Gasper, uh, Gasparini. Go, Agawam controls the draw, gets it right out front. Oh, broken up there on an extra effort by Paul Lamo. Lamo flips it out, doesn't go out. Lamo picks it up. Curran still with it for Agawam. Wrist it in. Kid is not afraid to shoot the puck. And that will be icing. Big number six, Curran for Agawam. We'll shoot that puck from anywhere. Yeah, it's got a nice hard shot. Usually just takes those nice low wrist shots, snap shots. Looks for those big rebounds in front, but so far Gasparini able to turn him away every time. But he will shoot it about every chance he gets. So three to one with 4.38 left, second period. Can't control. Rister, hard Rister. Gaspo hangs on. Getting plenty of action back there. And he knows that big number six gets the puck on the point. It's probably coming right to him. <laughs> Gasparini is looking for that, but he's up for the challenge again. Martin Forrest and Waski. Little hook and Forrest gets broken up. Forrest hustles right after it, takes the hit. Martin plays it back to the corner, trying to look for some help, loses it. And goes back to Forrest. Forrest, nice pass to Martin. 
Martin's able to skate it out. Takes a heavy hit, gets it ahead to Waski. Waski dancing right out front and can't keep it in. Wendell able to handle that tough pass and get it up ahead. Gives it away. Back check there by Forrest. Forrest playing a good game. That's too many men on the ice. You gotta be kidding me. They're gonna call it. I don't know if that was on purpose from the Spartans, but uh, defensive there just saw Aguam change and threw it right at the bench. Good play. Coach Cal taught me that one. <laughs> so with both players touching it, one going in, one going off the bench, it's an easy call for the two many men on the ice. Spartans back on the power play, 341 left in the second, down three to one. So bench penalty to Aguilar gives the Spartans this power play. See if they can get it to three to two. Oh, puck trickles in and broke it uh, covered up by the goaltender. A little bit of an awkward play there from Aguilar. Didn't really know what they wanted to do with it. Just covered it up, taking another face off. Forrest gets broken up, goes back to Waski with it. Oh, Waski fans on it. Nagelon comes with a breakaway. Shot yeah! score! Bears it right into the arm of Gasparini. Another short handed goal. It's a dangerous play about running the umbrella on the power play. Waski, the only one up top in the middle on, on that power play. When he fans on the shot, no one able to back him up. Aguam takes it down on the breakaway, able to put it in. Four to one here. Two short-handed goals. Aguam with a shorty. Another shot by the big defenseman, covered up by Gasparini. Waski with some speed on the left side. Tries to dangle it, gets broken up. Covering it up is Corbin. Corbin takes the hit, goes to the corner, heavy. And back to get it is Waski. Waski bangs it in. Forrest plays it in the corner. Saracino hustling in. They cycle back right to Saracino, gets hooked. Again, stays with it. And Tagawa able to come up with a save. Great play by Saraceno, just battling through the hook there, coming to the front. Got it, lost it when he got hooked, picked it up again, took a nice quality shot on net. But was able to, unable to put it past the goaltender. Twenty-nine seconds left in the power play. Bates and Trace, the defense. Pacini's getting called for a hook. Looked like it was unintentional from Pacini. Just looking to play the puck there with the coming out of the zone. Just caught up, got caught up in Aguilar player skates. Let's say they got him for a hooking there. Four on four for 25 seconds. See if the Spartans can come back with their own shorty. Four on four plays, 25 seconds. Aguilar controlling the puck in the offensive zone. Puck goes right out and Spartans are gonna ice it. Four on four, you can't ice it. Looks like Peter Trace back there. Maybe thinking that the four on four had expired, went for the icing, and it got all the way down just barely. There's still three seconds left on their penalty. So after this last three seconds, Spartans will be shorthanded for a minute five. Aguilar controls it. Shot, save Gaspo. Oh, Buck goes, goes, hits the apron and goes wide. 
Back home on the power play. Bates, nice job getting that puck. And a little nine iron shot out of the zone. Chased by Corbin. And nice play by the goaltender, throw it out of the zone. Right over, shot goes wide. Agawam setting up their power play. Brister, nice left pad save by Gasparini. Bates aggressive on the on the power on the penalty kill. Brister gets blocked in front and iced by East Long Meadow with 20 seconds left on the five on four power play for Agawam. Curran breaks it out. Agawam setting up the power play. Got a man coming right through the middle. Hits the apron. And covered up. I said no goal. An enthusiastic no goal from the ref there. <laughs> but it looked like the puck actually did go in the net, which is why it was so overdone there. But as after the, the net had gotten pushed off its moorings, Gasparini able to hold the post until the net got knocked off. It'll be back to five on five here in the minute minute five left in the second period. Played by Matt Gasparini to hold his hold his corner. Five on five play continues. Puck goes up ahead. Waski, whoa! They called Waski offside on himself. Doesn't he know you can do that? Take it in the zone with the puck on your stick. You can be going backwards. Not in the Barry division. Not in this game, I guess. I don't know. Morris battling on the faceoff, but loses it. Tito Grande dumps it in. Goes heavy into the corner. Buck goes across and out of the zone. Agamon will regroup. Nice little cross, cross ice pass. We move at the line. Oh, hard shot. Leahy just trying to get out of the way. Oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. It's like that was an interference call against Aguam. <laughs> looked like it was pretty close after it gotten rid of the puck there. Which is kind of an awkward hit they'll call him for. Spartans back in the power play with only 21 seconds left in the period. So let's see if the Spartans can get a shot or two off. Score four to one late in the second period. Zach Martin's gonna take the draw. Martin ties up his man. I gonna be able to pump it out of the zone and that should just about do it for the period. Martin dumps it in. Corbin chasing after it. That'll do it for the period. So four second period goals for Agawam. Puts him up four to one. Second period action about to begin. Spartans trail four to one. Two power, two short-handed goals and a power play goal for Aguam and Nick Corbin on the goal for East Long Meadow unassisted. Zach Martin able to dump it in, gets pinched off. Fired up by Aguam and Aguam on a short-handed. Spartans got a minute left on the power play. What was that call? Interference call by Agawam. 
The power play has not, not been too efficient for the Spartans this evening, Doc. Famous Curran tries to take it in. Woski back for it. Throws his weight around. Nice play by Woski. Gets it up to himself. Woski creates a two on one, cuts right in. Gets hammered into the goaltender. And the play continues. Agawam, shot, quick save. Back out front, kept in by Woski. Woski wisely backs off, kept in by Zach Martin. Over to Trace, Trace with a trickler in. Forrest out there, Trace tries to pinch. Nice little hack by Forrest. Even strength, penalty up. And we got a whistle. We're gonna have goaltender interference on, on Agawam. Looks like he ran right into the goaltender. He's slow to get up. Matt Gasparini shaking up as he was drilled into the post. So I go back over here when they uh, started making a couple shots over here. It's like a lot of a lot of chances for the uh, wraparounds that uh, the Spartans are just not finishing with their wraparounds. Like. From what I noticed, the goal the goaltender for Agawam he's pretty slow coming around the edges. So if they keep finishing with that power, with the uh, wraparound, it's a wide open net. Could could have scored a lot of points tonight. Spartans shorthanded. Griffin Trace. Griffin Trace goes for charging his. Man runs right into the goaltender, blocked. Here we go. Pacini gets knocked off the puck. Good, good forecheck by the Spartans, keep that puck down the zone. Broken up nicely by Saracino. Good forecheck there by Pacini. Agawam able to tip that puck in the zone. Spartans with it on his stick, gets it out to center ice. Agawam has to regroup and get onside. 44 left on the power play. Showing a lot of missed opportunities for handling the puck here. Out of the corner right there, one time. Oh, great right pad save by Gaspo. Oh, nice right pad save. Agawam tries to regroup, go through center ice, comes back three on two, 21 left on the power play. Rister, Gaspo plays it to the corner. Bates can't get rid of it. Shot one timer goes wide. And puck out of the zone all the way down. 11 seconds left on the power play. Jimmy Bates wrists it up to Zach Martin, a little too high, but they say no, it won't go for icing. Five on five play. As Spartan's able to kill off that penalty. Broken up, shot, blocked. And Gasparri, or uh, Woski unable to get that rebound. Agawan lumbers in across the zone. Still with it, shot, yeah! score! Spartan's able to break it up, but right back on the skit, stick of the shooter, and he scores to make it five to one. And not very, uh... A very good defense performance for the Spartans. You know, letting that guy go right right between them. And they kept waving their sticks around. They easily could intercept that puck, but obviously that didn't happen. Maurice, Corbin. Puck is shot out of his own, back to get it to Zagawam. Takes a look up ice. And broken up by Morris. Comes out to center ice, Bates. Bates back to his partner. Nice, nice pass over to Corbin. Corbin shot, blocker save, rebound. Goes over to Trace, kept in. Back comes Agawam, three on two. Agawam stays on side. Bates does a great job breaking it up, but Agawam with the four check, two men on it. 
Bates over to Corbin. Corbin tries to just feather it out of the zone, but kept in by Agawam. Mike Leahy tries to get it out of the zone, but Agawam just pulls it ahead. Back to himself. Leahy with the four check. Puck comes out to center. Agawam has to dump it in and get back on side, which they do. 10-20 left, third period. 5-1, Agawam with an early goal this period. Dangerous pass right through the middle. Agawam hungry still, shot, gets blocked, back to the left point. They're all set up for the one-timer in the back ice. Puck sauce back to the point, kept in. Gasparini able to cover it up with 9.55 left. Good, good hard shot there by Pacini. Goaltender able to cover it up, barely. Pacini, Corbin, and Saracino. Coach Reed playing with the lines, trying to tweak things. Get some offense going. Right off the faceoff, steered wide by the goaltender. And broken up by Saracino dumped right in the zone. Hustling after is Corbin. Oh, Paul Alamo. Saracino with a good four check. Agalam has to regroup. 9.22 left. Curran with a big shot. Doesn't get all of it this time. The rebound comes right out front. Broken up by Buendo. Agawam cycles it behind, comes right across. Not out. Spartans having trouble getting it out of their own zone. So Agawam's dominating right now, just size, speed, Back and to power. The point. Rister hit his own man in the head, and they take a whistle. Oh, yeah. It's a nice dinger. Heavy shot from the point by. Seamus Kerr hits his old man. And we'll have a face off outside the zone with 8.45 left. Five to one the score. Controls it, high shot, gloved by Gasparini, hangs on. Klawoski, Forrest, and Martin on this line for the Spartans, trying to get some late pressure. Trying to get some life for the Spartans with that, with that line. Spartans wrap it around. Martin can't get it out. Good pressure there. Goes right to the corner to Agawam. Nice poke check by Jim Bates. Martin tries to break it up. Right out front, shot, just goes wide. Had his corner pick, takes a funny bounce off the boards, wrists it in, another save by Gasparini. And Agawam just carries it out of the zone. Oh, he got a breakaway by Waski, he's got a two on one with Zach Martin. Shot, score, Waski! That was a Waski nice a shot breakaway. by Waski right there. Picks his corner. Spartan showing some good life right now. Eight minutes, eight minutes, four seconds to go. Ben Waski on that nice breakaway. It's easy shot on goal and right, right in the back of the net. Ben Waski able to pick his corner. Come on, He's been very successful at doing that all season. Yeah, that's going to be icing. East Long Meadow. I don't see it. I didn't get an assist on that. I don't think they gave anybody one. No, they didn't. 
basically picked his pocket at center ice and went in uh, two on zero. Oh. Puck goes to the half wall. Spartans able to pump it out of the zone. Fourth checked hard by Trace. Corbin, Corbin with the hit. Window gets roughed up a bit, but holds his own. Agawam with the shot. Rebound comes right out. Staying with it, squaring up nicely is Gasparini. Puck goes to the corner right out front, and it goes out of the zone of a back pass, no icing. No communication there, the ref finally waves it off. Wow, heavy hit by East Long Meadow. Agawam dumps in, Corbin getting, getting physical here in the third period. Everyone's coming after Corbin. Heavy action. Agawam, looks like they might have a fourth line out there flying around. Say it's a clean hit, a little bit high, but it's a huge Agawam hit. Agawam right in. Gaspo with a blocker save. Bates oh. tries to poke it out of the zone. Agawam with some pressure right in front. Wrist it across, right to the corner, six minutes left. Away comes East Long Meadow. Paul Lamo drops it out in front, and we're gonna have a penalty on Agawam. Behind the play. Come on, ref. You watching the game? <laughs> a little elbow behind the play. East Long Meadow going to power play with six minutes left. Spartans are showing a Spartans are showing a lot of frustration on their bench right now, slamming sticks and everything. I think they need a good power play to sustain some life. Tripper rough and interference. A lot of penalties by Agawam tonight. It's been six, six penalties to four. Lasky back for it. Skates right through the check. Nice job. Broken up by Agawam on a shorthanded attempt. Oh, what a great save. Great save by Gasparini. He was watching that the whole way. Martin dumps it in. Morris hustles after it. Somebody's still got some skate left in him. It's a huge hit from Esau Meadow by Nick Corbin. Big hit by Corbin, but Agawam is right ahead. And it's gonna be offsides. He's going to the box for delay a game. Number six, Seamus Curran. And he's like, what did I do? Well, tell you what, you just hit the stick. You just hit the puck. Right out of the ref's hands. So the Spartans will have a five on three for 50, uh, 51 seconds. You really, I think they really need this one. Agawam Compton for six, Sanders Curry. Minor Compton, delay game. What a joke! You can't do that. It's, it's yeah, it's, there's no point in doing that. It's like, why, why, what's the point? So Coach Reed's gonna call his timeout draw it up and see if they can pop one here late in the third period. Well, I, I would put Ben Wosky because he's pretty much a good a good shot wherever you put him. Up against the Sagamon goaltender, I think he'd be really be needed. So we got Griffin, Griffin Trace at the point with Corbin. We got all forwards out there, Wosky. Forest and Martin. Martin's going to take the draw. For the five good, on three. It's a good solid line right there. Definitely need a couple shots. Agawam kept in, still in the zone. Flicked ahead, but Corbin can't break it up. Trace, oh, just off sides. 40 seconds left in the five on three.
Spartans get plenty of time to work on their power play this game. Agawam taking a lot of cheap, cheap penalties. Back to get it, Woski. Woski speeds through center. Oh, you kidding me? That didn't, that didn't look offsides to me right there. Hey, you got like, one right. Looks like Forrest was offsides by a quarter of an inch, but he got it uh, right, I guess. That was pretty close. I don't know. I kind of disagree with that one. Corbin takes it in on the left side. Keeps battling through the hit. Picked up by Forrest. Forrest, five on three still. Where's, where's the point, man? Right across, one timer. Oh, nice play by Agawan to break that crossing pass. Hey, you got one right again! And the Spartans oh, gets called for interference on the five on three. Zach Martin on the interference, so it's going to be uh, five on four. Faceoff should be all the way down the other end with 450 left. Eastland Meadow Fountain, number 16, minor penalty for Russia. Face off, won by Eastland Meadow. Plays it right out front, but able to handle it. Here comes Woski. Woski's got Corbin. Woski with a hard shot block. Keeps it on his stick, plays it over to Saracino at the point. Saracino with a shot, gets blocked. And it's four on four right now. Nice cross-eyes pass to Waski. Waski with a wrister. Ooh. Big, big back scratcher blocked by Agawam. Eastland Meadow tags up. Spartans will be short-handed for about 30 seconds in about one second. Agawam comes out of the box. Nice play by Waski to kill that penalty. Dumps it in the zone. 38 seconds left on the penalty for East Long Meadow. Bates, another nine iron shot down. He's getting pretty good at that. 346 left. Oh, Fachini ducks the check. Loses the puck. And here comes Agawam. Two on two. Rister, nice hard shot. Goes high off the cage. And that. Faceoff should be, that should be outside the zone. Yeah. yeah. The Spartans are doing everything they can to the zone. preserve this uh, penalty kill, doing everything they can to stop them. Getting another 16. point. 12 seconds left on the penalty to Zach Martin. Puck goes along the wall. Back to the point, wrist it in, and nice play by Bates just to bang that puck down. That should do it for the penalty. Pacini with some speed coming through. Puck goes all the way back. And puck tipped in. There comes Agron, nice play across. Takes a shot, gets blocked by Bates, comes all the way out front. Trace plays it to the corner, still in there. They battle along the wall, Bates. And the Lamo down there. Aguam goes right around, right to the front. Oh, nice play getting out of the zone, Paul Lamo. Back forward is Aguam. Good forecheck by Ficini, gets a stick on him. Back to the point, bouncing puck. Nice play there by Alamo, dumps it in. And they go for a quick change. Sparn's not really showing tough puck moving in, the, in this period right now, Doc. Here comes Forrest. 
Torres goes right around his man, but gives it away to the Agawam D-man. Right through center ice goes Agawam. Wrists into the corner. Chump Chumpman throws it across and broken up by Martin. Martin able to get out of the zone. Here comes Leahy. Leahy with a dump in. Eastland Meadow pulled the goaltender. Down by three goals. A minute left. Over to Waski. Waski deals. Shot. Nice glove saved by Agawam. Wow. Good shot. A great goaltending for Agawam. Fuck loose. Zach Martin's going out. Spartan with some sustained pressure with the goaltender pulled. A little bit of intensity out there by the Spartans. Brownie's able to get it out of the zone. Comes right to Eastland Meadow. And it would have been an icing, but the goaltender stopped it. Coach Reed shouting out orders. Oh, score by Aguilar. Got an empty netter. Make it 6-2 to two with 30 seconds left. Spartan's defense is not playing well right now. They're not able to, to intercept the puck. Just not making good stick movement at all. It's poor performance right now. It's Aguilar just dominating the ice. Bates plays it up the wall, gets it up the head to Saracino. And now we go for icing with 13 seconds left. Nice little play, but it's a little too hard. But number 19, Karagawam's out there. Kozip kid. Off, controlled by Aguam, dumps into the corner, goes all the way around. Puccini and after it. Oh, left side, le nice save, and that should do it for the game. Final score 6 2 Aguam. This is, this, is this is a tough loss for the Spartans tonight. But, you know, there, was a, there were a lot of dominate performances in the first period. You know, both teams showed. Paul showed, you know, showed some life in the first period, but Aguam quickly took control and yeah, both. Aguam clearly the better team tonight. Oh, and hustling the Spartans on many occasions. Oh yes, a lot, very, a lot bigger, more speedier. Their their puck movement was outstanding. A lot of good shots and and above all, good goaltending. Well, thank you for watching Hellcat Sports with your announcer, Dr. Bill Bazin, Alex Bazin, and Gavin Butler.